It's Miss Lewis, and we're doing math today. This is lesson 3.9. This is going to be a two-part lesson, parents. So this will be the first part, <clears throat> part A. Let's review some shape uh, names and a little bit of information about shapes. So this shape here, this is a circle. This is a square. This is a rectangle and a triangle. Now, let's talk about sides and corners and lines. We both, we all know this is a circle, so we're going to write that here. Now, this circle does not have any corners, but it's a curved line. When we talk about the lines on shapes, we either talk about that they're straight or that they're curved. Okay, so this is a circle, and like I said, it's a curved line. Here, this is a square. I'm pretty sure you guys know that. And it has four sides. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. And it has four corners. Corners are where the straight lines meet and have that little pointy tip to them. So one, two, three, excuse me, four, four corners. And the lines are straight. This shape here is a rectangle. It's kind of like a stretched out square. Okay? A rectangle has four sides. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. And four corners. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay? Straight line. Curved line, straight line, straight line. Now, let's talk about rectangular square. I said a rectangle is kind of like a stretched out square. But let's go back to square. All four sides on a square are equal. Equal means that they are the same size. So don't forget that. If it's a square, four sides, four corners, straight lines, but all four sides are equal. That means they're the same size. Here on the rectangle, you have the top and the bottom lines are the same size, and the left and the right lines are the same size. Okay? All right, this last shape here, everybody likes to say this word. This is a triangle. I think I'm going to run out of space. I am, but it's okay. Three sides, let's count. One, two, three, and three corners. One, two, three. Okay, don't forget a corner is where the straight lines meet. All right, so circle, curve. Square, four sides, four corners, straight lines. Rectangle, four, I'm sorry, equal size, straight lines. Rectangle, four sides. Four corners. Triangle, four sides, four corners. All right, so let's go on. Parents, what you're going to notice is that the first page, I'm sorry, we'll have to build a few shapes right quick. Um, let's do this. We can take, use these shapes here to build other shapes. So we have a rectangle. What about this? Let's try one. squares. I use two squares to build a rectangle. What about here? Mm, let's do this square here. Mm, one. We're going to use maybe a little bit bigger. Two. Three. Let's get it right. And four. Okay, there you go. Let's move this over. Now, look at my finished product. I feel a square, right? Let's, we can see the right inside, okay? But we can all make it the same size as well. There you go. Now, what about this? We call it a rhombus or a diamond, but guys, it's really a square turned on one of its corners. So watch this. I can take this triangle here. Yep. And this triangle here, 
but I have to turn it. So if you were drawing one, all you have to do is turn it. Just draw it upside down. And let's see. Can I slide it in there? Yeah, I did it. Okay, and what about this rectangle? Let's not gonna worry about it. What about this rectangle? Hmm. I'm thinking that I can take one. Two. Move it down a little. Stretch it out a little. And I'll build another rectangle. Okay? Let's get started with the lesson. Try this. Alrighty. Only thing we're doing, get out your crayon. Get your orange crayon. We're going to build this square using four smaller squares. But well, I'm going to help you out here. It's like making a lowercase t. Go from top to bottom, straight as you can, and from left to right, straight as you can. And how many squares do you see? One, two, three, four. Now, color those orange, and then I'm going to go back and trace those lines again so you can see them really good. Okay? Now, you have your four squares. See? All right, here, we're going to use four green triangles. Now, in order to make green triangles, I just can't go from top to bottom or left to right. We're going to have to go from corner to corner. Watch. Corner. I'm sorry, that's a little bit messy. Corner to corner. And uppercase X, okay? Then get your green count. One, two, three, four. Four green squares. So we got to shade them in green. We'll be doing good. Oh, Miss Lewis needs to go back and get her green. Okay. One, two, three, four. Go back. Trace your lines with your crayon so you can see them really good. And this last one, one yellow rectangle and one green triangle to make this square. All right. Again, just go straight from top to bottom, guys. Top to bottom. Okay? Then get your yellow. Shade this one. And we're building shapes using shapes. Get your green. Shade this one. Then you can come back and get your pencil. Trace that line. And you build three squares using different shapes. All right, parents, I'll be back with part B. Give me one minute. Thank you. Bye-bye.